Tinubu has assured Nigerians in the country, especially women in the country, that his administration is committed to ensuring that Nigeria is retrieved from the vested interests that have steeped its development. He said, enough is enough. We are taking our country back. From who? <laughs> from who? From PDP? Hmm. From who? From which people? You, that you held Lagos captive. You have held Lagos for close to how many decades? Over two decades. And you are coming to take the country back from who? You, that you are part of the people who are oppressing the Nigerian people. You are coming to take back. You know, those are the rhetorics that uh, the gullible ones who want to follow. Unfortunately, we have uh, them in their large numbers. Tinubu will be telling you that enough is enough. That we are taking back our country from who? From the same set of people. <laughs> hmm. He gave the assurance at the state house when he received in audience the All Progressive Congress APC women leaders in the 36 states and federal capital territory Abuja led by the APC national women leader, woman leader, Dr. Beta Edu on Thursday. He also assured the women that issues of security, healthcare system way and industrialization will be top on priorities of his administration. Now to just make promises, make promises, no one that they do. Tinubu in a statement by his spokesman, Delia Lake said his administration was already implementing many policies and programs that would positively impact the citizens. This, he stated, includes the student loan scheme, which he said would ensure their children enjoy a stable academic calendar in their respective tertiary institutions. We have established a scholarship scheme that would guarantee fair Guarantee their four years of tertiary education, he further said. Security is paramount in my administration's agenda because women bear the cost of insecurity anywhere in the world. And your wife, when you why you she was the she was in Senate when they were talking about her, the killing and the molestation of women. She didn't say nothing. She was not even bothered. Really, we can really see that when you have you are talking about student load and agbiru, you have ruined the the, the, the lives of the youth in the state that you govern and you have a, a control over. How many programs did you arrange for Agberus in Lagos? If really they love the youth, why do they have Agberu in Lagos? They are the most sophisticated Agberu. They are the deadly Agberu that we have in Nigeria. We have Agberus all over the place, but their own is a number one. Which even like Mohammed was even saying that uh, people were complaining about bandits who were collecting taxes or fine or whatever that is the same thing they are doing in lagos so what are they talking about and when they talk all this is saying and useless people will be listening to them i don't know why some people like don't be like this oh my god i like he's telling them he has a good intentions in as much the people where they lagos no enjoy nothing and the rest nigeria forget about it forget it Every program they want to do is just to exploit the people, just to lose, forget it. Forget. They are doing nada. They say security is paramount in your administration. Mm. Uh, Medicare is another. We will ensure that its facilities... <laughs> oh my God. This same song they have been singing since independence. They will ensure that Medicare... The health facilities are revamped and we will pursue this with vigor. Industrialization is yet another priority as your children and relations will gain employment. President Sinubu stated, Sinubu, while appreciating the women leaders for the visit, praised them for their support during the campaigns and elections, adding that they all deserve awards of their efforts. You all deserve gold murder because you worked so hard politically overcoming so many obstacles like the first scarcity and naira confiscation you see them you see mind games you see you see you see propaganda the one that is happening now the first subsidy removal that you didn't put anything in place who cost it the naira unification what has it yielded it has cost many wahala again mm. Promising that their children will receive better reward as their future is not guaranteed with the initiatives being put in place. 
with his new role as ECOWAS chairman, President Inubuto, the visiting women that though the, his emergence would place on him additional responsibility, it would spur him to work even harder. He said, we will continue to strive for a better Nigeria. You will not even regret your confidence in this administration. Tinubu, why reaffirming his administration's open-door policy, explained that the unity of the country was essential and central to his mind. He advised the women leaders to be accommodating of others from other parties who have seen the silver lining and the brighter future that lie ahead and now willing to come on board. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Now, wow. Now, wow. He tasked the APC women leaders to educate the citizens on the policies and programs of his administration with the awareness that the present difficulties are temporary. Really? Ah. You understand better. You are better coordinators. You know how it's to multitask. The gains of the subsidy removal will be channeled to better the lives of Nigerians. They said Nigerians, but now they, are want, they want to select some people, which is even nonsense. It does not even make sense. They will say Nigerians, but now if they want to do anything, they will not be telling you figures. The man who said he doesn't believe in his figures, that who statistics help, the same thing, Numbu. Say the same person, way, say who statistics help. You say they are going to better the lives of Nigerians from the few that have been fleeing the nation, he said. APC National Women Leader Edu stated that the women had come to congratulate the president on his victory at the post for the several good policies of his administration and for his election as ECOWAS chairman at the last summit. The National Women Leader enumerated the sterling records of the president as governor of Lagos State, which had endeared him to Nigerians. Hey! This, Dr. Edu stated, include unprecedented economic developments of the state and infrastructural development. She appealed to the president to consider more women in appointments in government positions. Okay. Can you imagine? <laughs> okay, we don't see and so God will first punish you, you enemy of Nigeria. Tinubu might be determined to prove his critics wrong, but sincerely he lacks the capacity, the emotional stability, the staff compliments the rightful strategies, the image, and also on, so on and so forth to accomplish this. My views are not hateful. Tell me of any Tinubu's policy so far, and I will tell you the defaults. Hmm. So guys, uh, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.